Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a smudge scan line effect with any picture in Photoshop. First, open the picture in Photoshop, then unlock the background layer by clicking the lock icon. Then right click on that layer, and click convert to smart object, the reason behind this is if you add any filter now by double clicking the layer you can always refer back to the original image and change it if required. Now once done create a copy of that layer by dragging it to the below plus icon. Once done, go to filter, then blur, and select motion blur. Set the angle to 0 and distance to 150 and select OK. Now you can see that the effect applied to the whole image but we want half of the face of the girl is to not blur. So to do that we have an original image reference as layer 0. Now select that copied layer and add a layer mask which is the third button in the below right toolbar. Once done select the brush tool. You can adjust the size of the brush from brush properties which is present in the top left toolbar. Select the brush size as per your image size and select the hardness to 0%. Now apply the brush on those areas where you don't want blurriness. If you are still following with us, great job! Now select that copied layer and create another copy of it. Now select the motion blur option of that second copied layer and double click it to open the motion blur properties window. And select the distance to 350. Now hold the shift key and select all three main layers, then right click and select convert to smart object. Now we will add the final effects to the image. So go to the filter option and select filter gallery, but you can see that my filter gallery option is not enabled. Some of you may not face this issue but for those who are facing this issue, we have a solution for that. Go to the image option, then select mode. And choose 8 bits channel. Once done again go to filter, now you can see that the filter gallery option is available now. Click on that, and once the filter gallery window opens, zoom out the image so that you can see the full image. Now for me, the graphic pen filter is already selected so the image looks like this. To get apply this effect you just open the sketch folder and select graphic pen. You can play with other filters, but the for this tutorial this one is needed. So once the graphic pen filter is applied, select the stroke direction to horizontal and play with the stroke length option and light dark balance option or you can just copy my numbers. Once done now we will add another filter effect by clicking on the plus icon present on the bottom right side of the window. Once added, now select the halftone pattern effect. Select the pattern type to the line and adjust the contrast and size. Now we will add our third and final effect by clicking the same plus icon, 
then open the texture folder and select grain effect. Adjust the intensity and contrast and click OK. That's it people, I hope you learned something new from this video, then please like, and subscribe to our channel which will motivate us to make more videos like this. Also, check our channel for other Photoshop videos. Bye everyone, and happy photoshopping, see you in the next video.